As a card-carrying journalist, I've long been very troubled by the way the Obama administration dealt with the press. I'm not just talking about questions of access here, but all of these leak investigations and leak prosecutions under the guise of tracking down people who leak secrets, and obviously government has to be able to protect some secrets. Uh, the administration cast a kind of a dragnet that hauled in the press and really uh, sent a chilling effect on press freedom. I'm sure many of you remember how uh, the Obama Justice Department under Eric Holder obtained personal emails and personal phone records, not just from the Associated Press, from my Fox colleague James Rosen, and went so far in a leak investigation to identify Rosen, who was doing his job as a reporter trying to get a story involving the State Department as a criminal co-conspirator, who of course was never charged. Uh, this has been the attitude toward the press. That is how uh, vociferously President Barack Obama has uh, decried national security leaks. So I've had a very hard time understanding his decision to commute the sentence of Chelsea Manning. As you know, uh, Ben Bradley Manning was convicted back in 2010 of leaking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of classified documents, some of them involving military secrets and diplomatic secrets around the world, putting uh, some Americans in danger and having to uh, sparking efforts by the administration to get them to safety. Uh, some of them involving the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan in a way I'm sure was not appreciated by the soldiers there. Uh, and so uh, Manning was sentenced to a 35-year sentence, has sentenced, served about seven years of that, and a couple of days to go in his term, and Obama commutes the sentence in a few months, uh, and it holds a news conference yesterday and says, well, I thought the sentence was disproportionate, and she, Chelsea Manning, um, you know, served a tough sentence, and I just thought we should let out, and denying that it would send any message to future people considering leaking secrets, and maybe they can get away with it or serve a couple of years and have their sentences commuted. I mean, I just thought it was a pretty weak defense of a very controversial move. So when you think about uh, the impact on the press, and then here's somebody who was found guilty of leaking all kinds of national security secrets, I just don't understand the logic. And clearly this is the kind of thing that a president would only do on his way out the door. And the fact that uh, Bradley Manning became transgender uh, and Chelsea Manning was having some personal problems, uh, in some ways I think contributed to her being seen as a hero on the left and maybe played a role in Obama's decision. I can't uh, say that for sure. But here Obama had a chance to walk out with his head high, 60% approval rating, he hasn't been under the, uh, in the line of fire lately. A lot of sympathetic media coverage, a farewell news conference, farewell speech, farewell interviews on 60 Minutes and uh, with other news organizations. And then it must be something about having that pardon and commutation power because Bill Clinton did the same thing at the end of his term with that pardon of the fugitive financier Mark Rich. So I, I wish this would be one that uh, President Obama had thought about a little harder. And when it came to the way in which his administration went after the press, I found his explanation of why he commuted the sentence of Chelsea Manning to be pretty unconvincing.